You know, life just never ceases to amaze me. About an hour ago, I set this camera up. It's on my cell phone. I just wanted to record a message. You know, sometimes the spirit moves me and I want to record it and I want to share it with people like yourself. And um, so I started a recording and I was going through it and I thought it was going well. I was happy about it. And of course, this is on my phone and the phone rang. It was my buddy Scott. Bling, 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 bling. I'm like, no. <laughs> I almost ripped his hair out, whatever I got left in it. I'm like, no. Anyway, I mean, geez, I've been around 51 and a half years. I got to tell you, nothing seems easy sometimes. It's like, what? I scratched my head thinking, oh my God, I had it. It was just the way I wanted it. And then Scott reminded me, well, this one's just going to be that much better. So he played into my own hands. You know, I'm writing a book now. It's called Clean Your Lens. It's about how to look at things in a way that really resonates with who you are and who you want to be. And I think that's kind of the message that I want to share with you right now. And I'm going to spin it into like purpose because I, I think purpose is really important. You know, we talk about it, but not many people really know what their purpose is. So what we tend to do is we just make it up, you know, and that can change, you know, from year to year. Not that it shouldn't either, by the way, but all of a sudden we're like, well, what's your purpose in life? And what your purpose is, it usually is connected to what do you do? You know, what's your job? My purpose is to be a doctor. Well, really? Being what you choose to do is what we consider your, your outward purpose in life. You can choose anything you want. You live in America. You can, you can choose to be whatever the heck you want to do. It just matters how much time and energy you want to put into it. But <clears throat> there's a caveat here, though. That if you really start looking at who you are as a consequence of the world looks back at you, meaning the way people see you, you can get lost in that. You know, the real you is the most important thing. Who are you internally? And maybe you've heard this, one of these rhetorical statements, or who are you? But listen, what I've noticed in my patients and in people that I've interviewed and spent time with over the last decade, nobody really understands how to answer the question, who am I and what's my purpose? I'm sitting here, right? My office is in little rural downtown Hudson and we have a big roundabout or rotary, whatever you call it in your city. And I'm watching these people just drive around and around and around and around the rotary and everybody just looks like a drone. I'm like, where are they all going? What are they all doing? Well, they're all out there trying to fulfill their purpose, their outward purpose of what they've chosen to do in life. I gotta tell you, when you choose to do something and you set up this, this goal structure and you wanna have purpose, it, it could be difficult. Now, obviously it is. A lot of people go, oh, you got to work really, really hard and endure a lot, a lot of stress to get someplace, right? Then when you get there, you're like, all right, I, I made it and I got what I want, but now you got to keep it. So now you get more stress with that, but it's not going to be enough. So you got to get more. So you set up the next thing you got to get. So you're working your butt off to get that. And then you get it. Now what? Well, now you got to keep it, but then you set up for something else. I'll give you an example. Um, I want a nice three bedroom starter home wherever, okay? And I got it, yay! Now I gotta get a four bedroom condo on the beach. Well, I busted my hump to get it. I didn't spend a lot of time with my kids. My health got a little crappy, but hey, I got my house on the beach. Now you gotta keep the house on the beach. You gotta keep the house at home. Gotta have some toys to have that with, both of them, like a, you know, something to use uh, in the water, sea dews or, you know, paddle boards. There's always going to be something else you need. I think my point is that you're striving and striving and striving to get someplace, right? But you're never going to arrive there for one simple reason, because you're never going to feel satisfied with who you are because you probably don't know who you are. And your true purpose is connected literally to who you are, to what you feel inside. Listen, I was thinking of all these people, right? They're all driving around in that traffic and it's all going nuts in my office. And I'm looking at them thinking, wouldn't it be cool if all those cars just immediately stopped? Everything stopped, no one's moving. You get out of the car and people just start talking to each other. And I don't want you to think like, hey, well, what do you do? What do you do? It's just, who are you? Well, I'm, I'm just Pete. I'm just this guy that has a desire to help people 
see what's beautiful within them. And I'm doing it right now. But the cool thing is, is you don't really have to, you don't have to make any great changes in your life. You don't have to set up these massive goals and try to meet them. If you just want to have a great purpose, it's just to be the person that you are. So why is that not enough? It's supposed to be enough. It should be enough, but it's not. Society and TV and television and all these things, they don't tell us that we need to be more. We're not going to be happy unless we do what they tell us to do. And that's just not accurate. Matter of fact, it's a trap. It stinks. Scott and I were talking on the phone just a little while back, and I said, you know what? I find that so many people, including myself, for a number of years, I violated, literally, this universal law, which is that if you want to be something in life, it has to come from within first. Sure, you want to be a Major League Baseball player, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be a doctor, you want to be whatever. That's what you're choosing to do, but it better be a congruent reflection of who you are inside. Well, Doc, how do I know who I am inside? This is always the question. How do I know who I am? I don't know. It's like this. Just, it's what you feel. There's gonna be some times in your life when you're gonna feel incredible, and that you don't even know why. All of a sudden, boom, I'm getting this overwhelming feeling that I like, it feels good. You know, I, I love children. <clears throat> so when kids come into my practice, I turn into the biggest kid. I don't care how many people are in this business, if there's 12, 13 people waiting to see me. If a little baby comes in, I'm either mm, 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 kissing them and loving them, I'm playing with them, I'm razzing them all up. I love children. Absolutely love, 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 love children. And I love talking to them. I love talking to people. I love helping people to see what's most important in their life. But they don't see it because they're too driven to become something that the world says they need to be. But I want you to think of this that if you don't become, or you don't make it to where you're supposed to be by your standards, life gets tough again. All of a sudden, you're not worthy anymore because you didn't get to your goal. And I say to you today, isn't just being you enough? From the beginning of your life to the end, just being you is enough. If you read that blog I wrote called Let It Be, man, just let it be. Just be the person that you are. But know this, that throughout your days, you're gonna feel a plethora of two basic emotions. One is gonna be love. The second one is gonna be hate. You're like, ooh, you just said that word. Well, listen, humans are built on both aspects, love and hate. I mean, you watch TV a little bit, I'm sure. You probably see the terrorist threat around the world. That's hate. But hate can be broken down into disappointment, frustration. It could be uh, anxiety, depression. It's got a whole bunch of different names to it. They're all different, varied, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Magnitudes, right? So yeah, there's a bunch of hate in all of us. There's a bunch of love too, love and compassion. And I, I won't, I'll bet this is you, right? It's been me, so I bet it's you too. You're gonna say, oh, I love that show. Oh, I, I, I love that uh, whatever. I love that food. I love that city. I love that, that movie star. I love that band. But flip it. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I, I hate that presidential campaign that's going on. And I hate those terrorists. And I hate my, my in-laws. And I, and I hate the way they do this. So in our own world, right, our own vernacular, our own vocabulary is filled with love and hate, we say it all the time. So which one do you want to resonate with? The side of you that loves or the side of you that hates? I mean, you get to make the choice. But I'll tell you, when those kids walk into my office, I don't hate them. They're full of love, they're balls of love. I can't get, I can't get enough of it. So I know that my purpose is about love and it's about contribution, contributing to others. This is what makes me go. Now, once I understand what that is, then I can use that to go outward into my life and decide how I'm gonna take that and use it. Can you imagine somebody like me who wants to be a contributor, who is a contributor, and who is a lover of life and people? That's the true universal law for Peter Prococo. That's who I wanna be. And then I take a job selling drugs to uh, you know, school kids for cash. What? That is, that's not even close to my to my value structure. That's not close to my inner purpose. But I might say, well, I'm desperate. I need the cash. Really? How desperate are you to sell out who you are? 
That's where you violate the universal intelligence. Don't sell yourself out. Just become the person that you need to be and things will follow you and they'll get better. And things will happen around you that allow you to express that on a daily basis. So the fact that I've been blessed to see this early in my life, that I wanted to be a doctor, why? To become rich, wealthy, have all these you know, trappings of life? No, nothing can take the place of having one of these people that come into my office that they're struggling and they need, they need help and I, I'm there and I can help them and communicate with them and then they look at me and they say, thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you for taking care of me. That's it right there. I don't care if I'm driving a Beamer or I'm driving a skateboard. That don't matter to me. But I'll tell you what, the Beamer can always come when you're doing something that brings value to the world. But how on earth are you gonna bring value to the world unless you find out who you are? Because it's your passion that brings that value. And here's the beauty of it. Every single one of you, well, I'm gonna say you because you're the one watching this, but every single one of us has something incredible that was instilled within us from the beginning. It's the original passion. It's the thing that makes us go. And if we're not using it on a consistent basis, then yes, we're literally defying the universal intelligence. That which gave it to us is angry because we're not using it. And then we get pulled away from it. We get more and more angry. We start working on the hatred factor. And before you know it, you're living a life that's just like, it's not fulfilling. And you just want to retire. I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. These are all the symptoms of a person who's not using the passion, the true passion that they need that gets them where they want to go. So in close, I want you just to remember this. There is an outward purpose and an inward purpose, but there will be no fluid connection to your outer purpose until you understand your inner purpose. If your inner purpose is to love and care for people, it's likely that when you understand this, that you'll feel this rush of emotion that just keeps coming every time it happens. And it'll feel incredible. And then your choices going forward for what you want for the outward purpose or your career will become congruent and parallel now with what your inner purpose and passions are. That draws what we call a beautiful life. You don't have a job, you have a career. You're helping, you're loving, you're enjoying, and it's all congruent. That's the true essence of becoming whole. And if you really want to make it happen in your life, it's just so simple. Just go spend a little bit of time outside by yourself. Go walk in the woods if you can, or even if you're in the city. Go for a walk in the city by yourself and just get a little introspective. And when something moves you and you feel emotional because of it, there's the universal intelligence talking to you. It's trying to get your attention. It says, did you like how that felt? Yes, I absolutely loved how that just felt. Now that you know that you love this, perpetuate it until you get more and more of it. And before you know it, you'll start moving your life into a direction that constantly stimulates or tickles that emotion. And then every day you get to be happy. You get to be fulfilled. You should be happy and fulfilled right now because you don't need a career and some sort of uh, indication from the world that you're doing it right. You're just the mere fact that you're breathing and here today is an indication that you're doing it right. Not easy to be human. So do me a favor. Just think about what I said and try to get in touch with who you are and let those emotions flow and then keep doing it over and over and over and over until it becomes a habit. And before you know it, if your life is already where you want it, then it'll only get brighter. And if it's not where you want it, stay at it and it'll finally get there. And remember this, you don't get in life what you want. You get what you are. I know you gotta think about that for a second, huh? You gotta get what you are. If you're a cheat, and you discriminate and you're prejudiced, you might get a lot of stuff, but you won't be able to maintain it. You're gonna lose it all. I mean, just look at history, it's everywhere. But if you're somebody who resonates around the true passion of who they are and conducts themselves within that, then things will come to you that you could never have imagined. And everything that you get is really about how you're gonna feel because you've never taken any of those things with you. And then you can pass these principles to your children, to your friends, to your family, to a stranger, it really doesn't matter. It's one of the true beauties of this life. We don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring, but we know that if it's steeped in the passion that was put within us, there's no way we can fail. Thanks for listening. I wish you the very best. 
Have an awesome day.